I get exactly what you're saying. Yeah. So back to you uh, creating drink menus and stuff. As a manager, I want to know, how do you create a drink menu? Do you? Because <laughs> I'm thinking you just go online and you steal recipes, rename them and different things oh, like that. But how do you know, no, like, man, a, honestly, like a good chef, how do you know what flavors pair? Dude, honestly, it's how like, it's gonna look you know, and you kind of, uh, you kind of like pick up everything from all of your experiences, right? Mm -hmm. And most like good, I mean, I'm, that's my opinion. Most- Move the mic up a little bit. Yeah. So I can hear you better. Yeah. Most like uh, well-made, um, menus are going to be like you know rips or twists of great classics okay you know it's kind of hard not hard but like it's it's more difficult to do something super innovative and creative and go off of the rip and like you know say i'm gonna mix a b and c and make this a x you know what i'm saying yeah but i mean like for example my baby right here this is a fucking oaxacan old-fashioned so it's like your old-fashioned but it's made with mezcal tequila it's got an oriental cinnamon in there called cassia burnt sugar chocolate mole bitters um a twist of grapefruit and shaved cinnamon so it's not far or shy from a regular old-fashioned yeah. is my point but, um so like I mean, creating creating these menus, I like to do two of every spirit to give people like, uh, you know, choices. So have a couple of vodka, a couple of gin, a couple tequila. Mine has like four tequila though, because tequila's a shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're in Texas. Texas tequila it goes together. Um. Yeah. Like, and then just like some trendy shit, like espresso martinis are fucking popping popping as fuck right now. I used to work at Clarkwood. Oh, I so know they just are. Just as they Clarkwood, like put them on the map. Now everybody literally wants to bro, like yeah. With the burnt marshmallow, I thought it was a s'mores martini. When Dude, I first yeah. Seen it. I mean, I remember working at Clarkwood, bro, making like six martinis at a time, and yeah. then I started fucking stacking them up on top of each other, and then that shit went like viral, yeah. and they started doing that, and it's like, it's kind of like that. When somebody asks you to make a mojito and you're like, Whoa. you know, that espresso martini, you got to put some real yeah, vigorous into shake into, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, for <laughs> real. And uh, like, for example, like that drink, you know, like I made a riff of that. I made a, uh, a carajillo served up. So it's like liquor 43, Mr. Black that rests in illegal cast. So it's like smoky. I add cardamom bitters, which is like a Middle Eastern allspice. Mm -hmm. And then my thing to put like my twist on it is I do a, I make my own cream for the top of it. So I have this like uh, CO2 powered um, ISI that I put evaporated milk into, burnt sugar, salt, and illegal hoven, the mezcal. And I make this like smoky, fucking silky, velvety smooth cream that goes on top. So you're like a liquor chef. Chef. Well, I mean, so like when you bounce into the, like the realm of like mixology, there's culinary aspects that just like merge to get the job done that's wanting to be done. And so some of these flavors come from like out of the blue, like I think this would taste good with this, or are these like knowledge that you know that these two flavors bounce together. Or off each other. That's part good. of it. That's part of choosing what will work is is having that knowledge mm -hmm. of like, okay, I know I can do anything with citrus. Like gin is going to go good with lime or lemon and not lime, you know? Um, that's part of it. And then like the creative part of it is just like, damn. Like I'll give you one right now. I'm doing this drink called the looking glass for the speakeasy. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be completely clear. And so I'm mixing a bison grass vodka with a eucalyptus syrup that I'm making. And it's going to have a uh, moss that sits on top of a fat ice block with uh, lime caviar from fingerling limes. And that's knowing that those flavors are going to go together is one thing, but like being the creative to like 
push the boundaries and be like, yo, I'm going to do fucking bison grass and eucalyptus. It's like the fun part. Okay. You know what I mean? And it sounds so unique. It's like, yeah, you know, let me try it. No. Yeah. You got to. And then when you do the fact that it works is like the complexity. It's like the depth. That's when it's just like uh harmonious. This goes back to what we were talking about earlier. Those lasting impressions. Once you make that drink menu and like you have those crowd favorites, we're going to have to travel to get that drink. Yeah. Like somebody else is going to definitely steal it and use knockoff uh, vodka or try to remix it and it's not going to taste the same at their location. Yeah. So you're going to have to go to Ivy House to taste these. Yeah. Drinks. Those part of one of the things that's probably going to make y'all last for a long time. Yeah, man, I look forward to it. I look forward to uh, everything that's already come and everything that's coming. Yeah. It's just been blasting off.